So what video, should I make for the Pwn Age Olympics round number 4? I know, there is that video idea I've had for a while on the problem of Q. Shouldn't be hard to find a good video on the subject, I've seen tons of them over the years, and a lot of people made reply videos. Let's see here, let's start with evangelizing videos, should have the format, that I'm looking for. 10 commandment challenge, no that's not it, next one. 10 commandment challenge, still not what I want. Next one, 10 commandment challenge, no I don't want. 10 commandment challenges, isn't there anything else in here besides this? Oh my non-existent god, is that all the videos on YouTube labeled evangelizing, and street preaching are about? Almost every freaking video is a 10 commandment challenge. I give. Up. I will just make it a standalone video, or try for next year. You know what, this would make a great Pwn Edge video dealing with the Ten Commandments challenge in Kirk Kammer and, let's see what I can think of for a video, but enough backstory do you guys honestly and seriously think that these Taviniats are really worth emulating over and over and over again? No atheist takes them, or their, Ten Commandments challenge serious. It's a joke, a pathetic one, all it is, is confusing meanings words and trying to trick people into thinking they are worse than they are, I won't go into the much detail on why the challenge in the Ten Commandments fails as many better people have done a much better job of it than me. But seriously, are these two, really the best example of street preaching and evangelizing there is? It might work with Christians who are already convinced by such things, and surprisingly I saw a lot of people. People using this on Christians, at Christian rock concerts, and get togethers and such. Even if you could argue that someone who lies is a liar and God needs to punish him for breaking moral laws, why just these ten? Most of which aren't even really that moral, or have anything to do with morals. There are, and were much better forms of moral law back then. There are many important things left out of the Ten Commandments that would have helped people. No abusing children, do not rape, do not own slaves. Instead we find these, advocated either in the Ten Commandments, or in the rest of the Jewish laws. Are they really the best forms of moral law and how we should judge whether someone is good or not? Is morality really that black, where one bad act forever will make you a bad person, where a single lie turns you forever into a liar? But no amount of good acts can change that. This is essentially what they are saying, lie to the Nazis that you have juice in your basement, and you go to hell and are eternally a liar. But save lives, protect people, stop, needless deaths, provide food for homeless, find cures for cancer and many other things, and you still can never be redeemed for that one lie to save lives. Is this really the best way to win converts, by telling them this? Is this really all that good of a moral system? Even if you think it's true, this isn't the best way of going, about it. Many will see the problems behind this and those you would want to convert the most will see through the claims. This is the problem with having your morals come from a book or higher authority, the laws become more important than the people. It's not about being good, or doing things right, it becomes about what did God say was right or wrong. Lying to save lives is no better than murdering a billion people. There is no room for. Under this circumstance was it good, or was it wrong? Take those that find that abortion is always wrong, and never good. Where a nine-year-old child pregnant with twins, and is likely to die, and even if she lives the trauma she would go through, and it becomes immoral for her to have an abortion. The child is lost in the law. Upholding the law is, more important than helping and being there for others. These two morons promote the system of blackness. There there is only bad acts, that condemn you. Sure they talk about, still doing good deeds, but they focus on the bad. Any truly moral system, must remember that there are humans that are affected by laws, and few things in life are always good, or are always bad. But you know what, keep it up, it makes a great deconversion tool by having everyone see all the poor arguments. Though I hope some people will see this and think on what I say.